done in your life. Sometimes we have to just thank him. There is nobody like God. God created the heavens and earth and everything that's in it. And we don't realize that he's protecting our family during the night. We don't understand that all praise go to him. All praise go to him. But we, we need to just worship him a little harder. Just thank him for being God. Think that we have somebody that we can reach out to when things are not going right. When you got trials and tribulations, troubles in your life. And he's right there. Even when we can't do it on our own, God is always right there. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, uh, for the one that gave and the one that couldn't give, Lord. Make it a way where they can give next time. Mean, Heavenly Father, we thank you, God. We thank you, Lord. You say, blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stand in the way of sinners, nor sit in the seat of the stomach, but his delight is in the law of the Lord, and his law does he meditate day and night. And he shall be like a tree planted by the river of the water that bringeth forth his fruit in the season. His leaf also shall not wither, but whatever he does shall prosper. We got to realize there is a God. There, there is a God that sit high and look low. And God, we thank you, God. We thank you for everything that you have done, Lord. You have protected our family members, Lord. Although they wasn't walking upright, but, but God, but God who is rich in mercy and in grace, we need to thank him a little more. God, we know, Lord, that you made a way when there was no way. You say, the Lord is my light and my salvation. Who shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Who shall I be afraid of? God said, you look to me, which cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord, who made heaven and earth. And you say, you will not allow our foot to be moved. You say, the sun shall not strike you by day or the moon by night. You say, he will be our protector. He will protect our soul. Protect us going in and coming out. Now, Heavenly Father, we ask you, Lord, the one that's online today, Lord, we ask you, Lord, to give them a special anointing, Lord. Let them hear your word, Lord. Give them the favor, Lord, that they're seeking for, Lord. God, we thank you, God. We, we thank you, God. Lord, some people don't know how to cry out to you until something happens. Somebody don't know that things are going to happen in your life. And there is no help. Yeah. Only help comes from the Lord. You might call your sister, you might call your brother. But there is only one that can help you. That's our Heavenly Father in heaven. And God, we ask you, Lord, to bless the minister as he come up, Lord. We ask you, Lord, anoint him with your Holy Spirit. Each word that come out of his mouth, Lord, coming from you, Lord. We thank you, God. We thank you, God, for everything you have done in our lives. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, bless the sick, the one that's down and out and things are going on, Lord. We know, Lord, all you have to do is say, let there be light, and there was light. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. Take away sins. Therefore, when he came into 
to the world, he said, Sacrifice and offering you did not desire, but a body you have prepared for me. In burnt offerings and sacrifices for sin, you had no pleasure. Then I said, Behold, I have come. In the volume of the book, it is written of me to do your will. Previously saying, sacrifice and offering, burnt offerings and offerings for sin, you did not desire, nor had pleasure in them. Then he said, Behold, I have come to do your will, O God. He takes away the first, that he may establish the second. By that will, we have been sanctified through the offering of the body of Jesus Christ once for all. And every priest stands ministering daily and offering repeatedly the same sacrifices, which can never take away sins. But this man, after he had offered one sacrifice for sins forever, sat down at the right hand of God. From that time, waiting till his enemies are made his footstool. For by one offering, he has perfected forever those who are being sanctified. But the Holy Spirit also witnesses to us. For after he had said before, this is the covenant that I will make with them after those days, says the Lord. I will put my laws into their hearts and in their minds. I will write them. Then he adds, their sins and their lawless deeds I will remember no more. Now where there is remission of these, there is no longer an offering for sin. Therefore, brethren, having boldness to enter the holiest by the blood of Jesus, by a new and living way, which he consecrated for us through the veil that is his flesh, and having a high priest over the house of God, let us draw near with a true heart and full assurance of faith, having our hearts sprinkled from an evil conscience and our bodies washed with pure water. Let us hold fast the confession of our hope without wavering. For he who promised is faithful. And let us consider one another in order to stir up love and good works, not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together, as is the manner of some, but exhorting one another, and so much the more as you see the day approaching. This is the word. Therefore, from now on, we regard no one according to the flesh. Even though we have known Christ according to the flesh, yet now 